Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to solve uh, some of the asked questions in Nagaro. Okay, so as you already know that uh, they have online test comprises of uh, all the sections, which includes aptitude, verbal reasoning, uh, English, as well as your coding test. Okay, so I'm going to discuss some of the aptitude questions. Okay, so let's start with the first question. So it says A is able to do a piece of work in 15 days. Okay, so A can take 15 days. Okay. To complete a work and B can do the same work in 20 days okay which means I can say A can do 1 by 15 unit of work in a day and B can do 1 by 20 unit of work in a day okay in a day right so that it will take 20 days to complete a work so what I'm assuming is I'm assuming the total work is one unit okay so it's one unit okay now what it says if they work together for four days what is the fraction of work left okay so what you have to calculate is a also is working for four days b is also working for four days okay so what i can do so if a work for four days okay so what is the work a is going to complete 1 by 15 into 4 which is 4 by 15 so that is completed by a and when it comes to b so b is going to complete 1 by 20 into 4 okay so one unit 1 by 20 unit of work in a single day into 4 days so this is going to take 1 by 5 unit so in 4 days a is completing 4 by 15 unit of work and b is completing 1 by 5 unit of work okay now you have to add both because it is asking how much work is left okay so they are working uh, collectively okay so so total combined the unit of work completed by both is 4 by 15 plus 1 by 5 which is nothing but 15 4 plus 3 okay so both of them together completed 7 by 15 unit of work okay however you know that the total work is 1 okay so what is the left 1 minus completed that is 7 by 15 which is nothing but 15 15 minus 7 which is 8 by 15 so this amount of work is left as of now so that is what it is asking in the question so you can go with the option a okay let's go to the second question okay so the second question says second question says cost price of each article a and b is rsx okay so both of uh, article a having so both of article a and b is having cost price x a is equal to x and b is equal to x okay what it says article a was sold at profit of 10 percent okay so if you see it was sold at x plus 10 percent of x okay which is nothing but 1.1 x right now it says b was sold at 30 percent of profit okay so it was sold at x plus 30 percent of x okay which is nothing but 1.3 x right now it says if the overall profit after selling both the article is 136 okay so what is the overall profit 10 percent from the a and 30 percent from the b okay so you can say 0.1x plus 0.3x is equal to 136 right now if you see 0.4x is equal to 136 then x value will be 136 divided by 0.4 which is nothing but 4 3 is 12 and 4 4 is 16 and this 0 so your x value will be 340 so the cost of both a and b is 340 rupees okay so you can go with the option a okay let's go to the next question population of village increased by 5% from 2007 to 2010 and 25% from 2005 to 2009 okay so what i can do here is let's see i will draw a line and then i will draw 2000 5 2006 7 2008 and then 2009 okay then what it says uh population of village increase by 5% from 2007 to 2008 okay so 7 to 8 it is incrementing by 5% and 2005 to 2009 it is incrementing by 25% this 
ओके इफ द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ विलेज वॉज फोर एटी इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन ओके सो दिस वैल्यू दे हैव गिवेन विच इज फोर एटी ओके सो इफ यू इंक्रीज फाइव परसेंट सो वट विल बी दी टेन परसेंट ऑफ फोर एटी दैट इज फोर्टी एट फाइव परसेंट विल बी ट्वेंटी फोर सो दिस टू थाउजेंड एट पॉपुलेशन इज गोइंग टू बी फोर एटी प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर विच इज फाइव जीरो फोर ओके वी गॉट इट नाउ वॉट इट्स इज वॉट वॉज इट्स पॉपुलेशन इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन ओके सो टू थाउजेंड so there is no direct relation between it to 9 it is 5 to 9 and they have not given the five value i think there is some mismatch in the question okay so what i believe is here in case of 2005 it will be 2008 okay so if it is 2008 let's try so this this value is going to be 25% okay so now we got 504 in 2008 what will be the value in 2009 so 504 plus 25% okay of 504 so which is nothing but 504 into 1 by 5 okay so this is 504 into 1 by 5 which is nothing but 1 into 1 by 5 plus 5 into 1 by 5 so this is 504 into 1 by 5 which is nothing but 504 into 1 by 5 plus 5 into 1 by 5 which is nothing but 504 into 1 by 5 plus 5 into 1 by 5 which is nothing but 504 plus 5 into 1 by 5 okay so 126 plus 504 okay which is going to give you how much 630 okay So six thirty will be your answer, I believe. Yeah. So six thirty answer C will be the answer. So there is some mismatch or you can say some typo in the question. So you can ignore it as of now. Let's go to the next question. So three by seventeen of which is into twenty by hundred into five ten plus seven is equal to x square. Right. So uh, what you can do is seventeen three is a so this is thirty. Five okay, so what will be the answer? Nineteen by five plus seven is equal to x square, which is eighteen. So eighteen plus seven is twenty-five is equal to x square. So plus minus five is equal to x. However, minus five is not there, so you can go with plus five. Okay, let's go to the next question. Okay, so uh, this is the case of percentage. So what it says in a month of March, he then spent forty-five percent of his monthly salary on paying bill and debt. Okay, so what we can do is let's assume. Okay, let's assume he then salary is handed off x. Okay, now it says forty-five percent of the salary he already has spent paying bill and rent. Okay, so forty-five percent is nothing but forty-five x. Okay. So let me just write here. So I can write remaining, and this is a spent, okay? And this is your total, which is hundred x, right? So it says forty five percent is already a spent, so forty five x is gone. Now what is remaining with him? So which is fifty five x, right? Out of the remaining salary, he invested sixty percent in PPF, okay? So this is. Now you can consider this fifty-five x as hundred percent. Now sixty percent of this he has spent in EPF. Okay, so sixty percent of fifty-five is nothing but fifty-five into zero point six, which is thirty-three x. Okay, so thirty-three x he has spent in EPF. Okay, so what is remaining now? Fifty-five x minus thirty x, which is twenty-two x. Okay. He deposited RS fifteen thousand five hundred in bank. If April he got increment of ten percent, what is okay? So this twenty two x is nothing but what he has deposited, which is fifteen thousand four hundred. Okay, so you can calculate the value of x, which is fifteen thousand four hundred divided by twenty two twenty two seven ja. This one five four and this is seven hundred. Okay, so x value got seven hundred, right? But x is not his salary. What is his salary? Hundred x, right? So hundred x. Which implies to hundred into seventy, no, seven hundred. Okay, so his monthly salary is seventy thousand. Okay, now what it says, if he gets increment of ten percent, what was his salary in April? Okay, so in April he is getting increment of ten percent. So ten percent of seventy thousand is nothing but seven thousand. Okay, so now what is his total salary after increment? Seventy thousand plus seven thousand, which is seventy seven thousand. Okay, so you can go with option. Let's go to the next question. Okay, it says a person 
covers a certain distance first of all let me tell you that uh, we do have a formula of distance distance is equal to a speed into time okay so this is the generalized formula we have now it says a person cover a certain distance by traveling at a uniform speed so his speed is so his speed is given which is uh, 120 km per hour okay 120 km per hour okay and time he takes is 90 minutes okay so time it's better to convert the time in hour always okay so 90 minute into 1 by 60 okay so it will give you 1.5 hour okay so from this speed and time we can find out the distance right so distance is equal to speed into time so 120 into 1.5 so this will give me the distance which is nothing but 180 kilometer okay so 180 kilometer is our distance okay so it is asking what should be his speed in order to travel the same distance and this time he wants to take the time of 1 hour 20 minute okay so speed is equal to distance by time so what is the distance 180 and time he is taking 1 hour 20 minute okay so which is 80 minute and then I told you you have to convert that to hour so you can divide it by 60 which is nothing but 180 into 60 divided by 80 right so this is gone 4 ja 3 ja 4 to 45 so 45 into 3 is nothing but 135 so this time he is going to take 130 sorry he, he has to travel with the 135 kilometer per hour speed okay so his speed is asking right so you can go with the option first 135 okay let's go to the next question this seems to be quite interesting okay so it says in a jar 120 milliliters of milk was mixed with 25 liter of water okay so let's see this is a jar okay so here this is 120 liter of milk okay. and then 24 liter of water right so if you see this uh 120 and 24 okay so the ratio is 5 is to 1 so whatever we need to pull it pull out from this jar it has to be in the same ratio okay so the next statement is 12 liter of mixture was taken out okay so first do one thing let's take 12 liter from this jar okay so 12 is what so uh, if you want to calculate how much milk is going to be removed and how much water is going to be removed okay so you can do one thing so if 12 liter is going to be removed so for water it is going to be 12 into 24 divided by total so total is 144 okay so 6 which means 2 liter of water is going to be removed from here so now the water remaining is 22 liter so if 2 liter of water is being removed from 12 so what is remaining 10 liter so 10 liter is obviously milk so from here 10 liter is going to remove so 110 liter of milk is remaining right now they are saying uh, after removing this 12 liter they are adding 3 liter of water again so plus 3 which is 25 so now in the jar in the jar we have 25 liter of uh, water and 110 liter milk read out the next statement if 27 liter of newly formed mixture is taken out again they want to take out 27 liter okay so what it says what will be the uh, resultant quality of water so it is clearly asking what is the water left okay so we will be calculating water only so what i told you you have to uh, use the proportion so 27 into we want to see what is the water they are removing okay so water quantity is 25 liter divided by 25 plus 110 okay so 27 into 25 divided by 135 which is 5 then 5 okay so 5 liter of water is getting removed and 22 liter of milk is getting removed so this is 88 and this is 20 okay so 20 liter of water is remaining and 88 liter of milk is remaining right so what it asking uh, what will the for resultant color of water in a jar okay so water ka pooch raha hai, right so then you can go with the 20 liter let's go to the next question 
okay it's quite simple question but you have to just uh, do the calculation first of all uh, just for your information if uh, boat is going uh, downstream okay so if it is going downstream then speed of the boat and speed of water uh, gets added okay so speed of boat plus speed of water or you can say stream is added okay and if it is upstream means the boat is going against the water then speed of boat minus speed of water okay now let's see what does it says a boat whose speed is 15 km per hour in still water so a speed of boat is 15 goes 30 km downstream and comes back in total of 4 hours 30 minutes okay so distance is 30 km upstream and 30 km downstream so it goes 30 km downstream so what is the uh, speed it is going with 15 plus x i am assuming the speed of water okay then plus again it is coming back right so 13 km again it is taking and then 15 minus x because it is upstream and total time it is taking is so this is distance by speed which is nothing but time so it is 4 hour 30 minute which is 9 by 2 i can say okay so this will form a quadratic equation okay so i can take 30 out then this will be your 225 minus x square okay and then we have here 15 plus x plus 15 minus x x x gaya is equal to 9 by should be 9 by 2 which is 4.5 right so uh, 30 into 30 which is 900 divided by 225 225 minus x square is equal to 9 by 2 so 9 say 900 which is 100 so what is the equation now 100 is equal to 25 minus x square okay so minus 25 is equal to minus x square so x is equal to 5 okay so that is what it is asking what is the speed of this uh, stream so it should be 5 km per hour so you can go with option C okay let's see the next question so it's the question of age so again it involves ratio 6 years ago the ratio of age of Kunal and Sagar was 6 is to 5 okay Kunal divided by Sagar minus 6 right minus 6 because it is uh, telling you six years back the ratio is six is to five so this is first equation the second equation it will form being is four years later okay so k plus four divided by s plus four and the ratio is 11 by 10 okay what is the sagar presented so it is it it is uh, like asking the age of the sagar okay so you need to form the uh, equation so let's form it so 5k minus 30 is equal to 6s minus 36 okay so 5k minus 6s is equal to minus 6 this is your first equation and uh, then you have second equation as 10k plus 40 is equal to 11s plus 44 so 10k minus 11s is equal to Four, okay so this is your second equation so now let's take one and two together so multiply this with two so that 10k and 10k will get cancelled so 10k minus 12 is equal to minus 12 okay and the second equation is 10k minus 11 is equal to 4 okay let's do minus so this is gone now what we have so minus a is equal to minus 16 so we got the value of a as 16 that is what is asking a is 16 so that is all we have so thank you guys for watching we'll come up with the next series of the aptitude video so meanwhile stay tuned and until the next video till then bye bye take care